Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. Right behind me, Coach 1370. Stick with us. We are going to go through a big tour of Coach 1370, the latest from Marathon, and a big congratulations to the couple that have customized this coach. It, this is a triple slide H3. Very exciting to see this coach. There's a lot of customization going on on 1370. So stick with us. We're gonna go through the coach and check it out. RVs in the history of the world are built by Oregonians right here in Coburg, Oregon, right on Interstate 5, two hours south of Portland. The best RVs in the history of the world. And this is a good example of exactly that. You've got two slides in the rear, one slide in the front salon on the driver's side. This is a super bath floor plan. That's right, so we're gonna go and check out the super bath floor plan as soon as we get it inside. All right, you guys, let's talk about, oh, before we go back over to the base, I wanna show uh, the customer really liked the idea of this finished look on the Prevo embossed letters on the front and the rear. So on the front and the rear, you've got the mirror finish on the inserts of the words Prevo, front and rear of this coach adds additional detail and also these being such a mere finish, they play off of this piece and this piece here. It just gives a nice finished look to the rear of the coach. All right, now let's talk a little bit more about bays because this coach has so much uh, customization in the bays. This is an example. Oh, that's a tough one, sorry. Uh, take a look at that 100 foot pressure washer reel right here. The pressure washer wands that are in the front, there's another wand right there for when you're washing back here. So you can use a, a wand just for the front and just get the bugs off the front, or you can use this wand to pressure wash the rest of the coach if need be. You've got the long reel here, that's really cool. But also, take a look at this, you guys. Look at this, power washer. If I flip that up, it goes green and shows that the power washer is on. Now, you've got an indicator here, a, a rocker switch for washing or rinsing. Washing is just gonna be regular water. And then when you rinse it, you want that DI, that you want the spotless finish. So you would click it over to rinse. And let me show you where that is. There's the DI bottle right there. When you, want to, when you want to rinse this off, or your tow vehicle, don't forget, you've got a tow vehicle too most of the time. You want to have a spotless finish, and that's what that DI mix bottle is for. Take a look at this. This is for air pressure to be able to, uh, your air hose, to be able to air up your tires. One of the cool things is it's got a strap. You release the strap, and this comes out like this so that you can manipulate it here. And also the strap holds it in when you're driving, it doesn't, it's not flopping around. And this is a multiplier. Basically this allows you to get the air quickly to the tires and to the right PSI. So there's a lot of, um, a lot of air, um, air pumps that don't go up to the right PSI. This multiplier will handle that and get you all the way up. Also, you see the, it's got the quick connect um, right here for the air hose. Uh, this is the important things. And also, aesthetically, look how beautiful this bay is, you guys. It's finished so well. Like I said, the bays in this coach are like an art piece, and that's really cool. I'm going to open all three of these bays, and John can get a wide shot. You've got the cabinetry in all three bays. You've got automatic slides or electric slides in bay one and two, a manual slide in bay three, and I'm gonna show you the features in each bay. The owner in his previous coach or his current coach, because he's taking delivery actually the day we're filming this, he had these marathon logos, these uh, raised marathon logos, excuse me there, 
uh, on each slide out. And so on this one, he's got the offset Marathon logos on each uh, cabinetry in bay one, two, and three. And the reason they're offset is because there's a plastic cap there for the actual slide out mechanism, as you can see right there. But they really look cool, all three of them in a universal spot or universally across the three. Now, one of the things you probably haven't seen is uh, usually we have to hold a button right here. There is a button, but it's on the other side of the coach. But on this side, we have a, a hand remote. The hand remote allows you to stand out like this and be able to pull that all the way out so that you can organize everything in here. And I also like how we finish this off. Take a look at how Marathon finishes their slide outs in the bays. Everything is finished. Beautiful. It gives you the opportunity to not have to break your back and get inside your bay like that. This is the Blaze Grill. This is one of the coolest grills that we have put into a coach. And this Bay 2 slide out has all kinds of cool stuff to see. There's a little bit of storage area. Right now, it's taken up with the extra supplies for their flooring. A little giant um, situated in here and tied down. It's got its own little uh, spot. I like how we installed this refrigerator because on top, you have a spot where you can set things, whether it be food or drinks or anything up here. And it's in a box. This is about a, a two inch lip uh, that'll hold stuff in. That's really cool. But one of the things the owner, when they saw it yesterday pointed out was they really liked how we put outlets on both sides of this slide out. Click it up, a hard surface, additional space for preparing food, holding food, whatever. The Blaze Grill, very cool. If, you, if you're Marathon Monday people, you know how I love our drawers. And when we have a barbecue drawer, we line them with this rubber uh, in here so that it holds things and doesn't move around. But it's the same beautiful drawers that you're gonna find inside the coach. It's that dovetailed bamboo embossed right there with the Marathon logo. And this Bay 2 shares with a 50 inch TV that comes out on a slide. No, excuse me, 55 inch, I was wrong. So a 55 inch TV, so you're got, you've got a lot going on in Bay 2. This is an example of owners that are experienced at living, staying, sleeping, entertaining in a coach and they know what works and they know what doesn't work and so they've fit a lot with marathon engineering and design into bay two two additional marathon seats you've got right up here two here but you've got two additional here next to the owner's toolbox very cool and it looks great another thing that i want to point out about 1370 all right, we're down here at the bumper. We've released the bumper and under here, this is an example, like I have said before, of customers knowing what works and what they need. Take a look in here. You've got two wands. You've got the extra wands for the pressure washer. It's a perfect place to store it. A lot of people who have pressure washers, they'll wash the whole coach, but a lot of people only use it for the front end. So like if you're stopped somewhere, you've got a hundred foot reel, you can spray off the front of your coach when you're at a truck stop or something, and the wand is right here. So it's in the place where you're actually gonna use it if you're gonna wash off the front end. But also, take a look down here. This is one of the most impressive things. Look at the three of those guys. That is a serious air horn. And that is, of course, something that is needed for letting everyone know on the road, hey, you see me, here I come. But yes, three big horns. This is one of the coolest train horns you're gonna see um, in a marathon coach. All right, I think we should go inside, John, and finally get to looking inside the coach. All right, 
here we are in 1370. Don't forget triple slide, you guys. This is very cool. We will, we will look at the cockpit at the end, but we've got the, uh, all the shades down. It provides for really good lighting. Take a look at this interior. I love how this was customized. Look at that floor. Isn't that a beautiful floor? Not only did the customer pick these tiles and the feature in the middle of there where you've got the gold out here, the gold keys in the middle, and of course that rainforest tile in the middle. So when you look at this floor, it's not just picking the beautiful things that you want as an owner, but it comes down to the skill of putting it on the floor correctly. Take a look at how well this feature is installed on the floor of this coach. It's just beautiful. I really love how they've got that in there. And if they don't want it, they can cover it with an area rug, but it's a beautiful feature right there in the middle. And so it adds, it adds a whole dimension to this salon. Okay, another thing uh, in the previous video that we did, which was a shorter version of what we're doing today, I talked about the valances and the styles. This is one of the cool things about this salon is the styles and valances up and across. They're the same. And I really like how the customer did that. A lot of times you'll see two different ones, but that's the same and it's really pretty together. Of course, you've got smart TVs, not only over the cockpit, the big guy, but you've got this one here that uh, comes on out. You've got the two recliners. Now these are power recliners. There is a control for all of the um, features underneath the arm, on the right hand arm of this, you've got all of the electric controls for these recliners. Also, another thing that's really cool, take a look real close, John, if you can, at the upholstery right here. This quilted Bentley look. It's definitely a Bentley look. At the inserts of these seats, the two recliners in the salon on the curbside or the patio side. That is something you're also going to see in the cockpit. And that's something that the owners really wanted was that quilted uh, Bentley look. Okay, now the sofa. I love an all leather sofa. You guys know that. A lot of times Marathon does reveal backs, but it, it, which adds great color to a coach. In this coach, I think the all leather sofa works. And I think the squared off arms of this sofa really works. One of the things that I really like is the customization of a cup holder on the side of the sofa. So this is done in our hard surfaces uh, department here. It's the same hard surface that you're gonna see in the galley, in the dinette, but it's got a cup holder that can fit and sleeve onto either side of the sofa. We have an extending L-shaped dinette here, and I really love the choice of the fabrics playing off the leather, which is the same leather of the sofa that I'm sitting on. And of course, as you guys know, the dinette telescopes in and out, but not only that, but to provide for ease to get into your dinette, it, it, it uh, swivels out so you can get in and out easily. And of course, it goes out, you've got a control here and a control over here. So that both sides, if you're sitting down here, you've got a control here, or if you're sitting here like I am, you've got a control for there. And then to get out. And I like how this provides additional seating out here. It's like an additional 12 to 13 inches over here, which goes right back into the wall when you don't need it. Very, very cool. I personally like to stow it away because of course it creates more space here. Storage above and below the dinette, back over to the galley. You guys know what's going on over here. You've got the push pull over here. One thing I haven't really pointed out, these are adjustable. So you can adjust these for whatever you're you want to put in there. Boy, that's a beautiful sink. Our people are just doing very, very talented things. Like I said, Oregonians building the best RV in the history of the world. Storage below and above in the galley. And of course, as you know, that convection microwave oven right there above the cooktop. 
So you've got a pantry right here, but what do you what do you think this is, everybody? Come on. You Marathon Monday uh, watchers, you know what, what this is. Very cool. Now, art door. If I hit this button, you know what that reveals. The Appliance Dream Center. Storage above. Now keep in mind, we've done different configurations of the Appliance Dream Center, and this is customized for the current own or for the owners of 1370. Very cool. Storage above. We've seen that amazing uh, espresso machine here. A lot of people love it. Most people don't use it though. It's really a cool conversation piece, but uh, it's a lot of people don't use it. I like my coffee black. It's all right here, you guys, in a Keurig. I love it on a pullout because you can service it, you can fill it, you can do whatever. It's very cleanable. On a pullout, that's very cool if that's the kind of coffee you drink. That's what I drink, so I would appreciate this too. All right, as you know, the uh, remaining two appliances in here, and don't forget, you guys, this is a plug and play process up here with the Appliance Dream Center. That wine cooler that's at the bottom can go up here if you want it. This is a steam oven. It's also a convection oven. Uh, units that can go anywhere throughout this Appliance Dream Center, all hidden behind this door. One thing I want to point out that you might not capture on camera, but I'm going to point it out. This whole area is at an angle. I don't know the degree, but it's at an angle. So this is facing more into your galley and dinette area. So it continues part of your kitchen. So you've got three appliances here. This makes four, five, six with the dishwasher. So in this galley, you've got six appliances and three of them are hidden behind the art door, which is a really cool thing. Not only is it cool to show off, but it really closes everything off. So you can close off this and you can close off your microwave oven and give everything a really nice, elegant look and finish. Very cool. Okay. Now, Fisher Peichel refrigerator freezer, you guys know that. Now, one of the coolest things that's been kind of a conversation piece throughout our building over the last week is, did you guys see the half bath in Coach 1370? That sink, that backsplash, it is just a beautiful uh, thing that a lot of people are talking about and a big congratulations to the owner who worked with Santara uh, to bring together a really cool art piece inside the half bath. Okay, before John moves on, bam, take a look at that. Right there in this closet, before you go into the bedroom, you've got two drawers at the bottom there, and they're big drawers, you guys. You've got a shirt closet at the top, but right on top of those two drawers underneath the shirts, you have a full copier printer scanner on a slide out per the customer's request. That's something that is needed. You know, when you're dealing with business people that also want to uh, get out in their coach, business does not stop into the bedroom. As you can see, the bed is pulled all the way up. I left my glasses here this morning, so, oh, those don't fit. Um, anyway, this bedspread. Is this bedspread not the coolest? All of these fabrics were picked uh, with our design team, with the owners, so, the, the header in here matches the pillows, matches on the dry, on the curbside, this big uh, bench over here. So it just runs all the way through. Also, Roman shades in here are just a stunning blue, and you can see that up here right under the header. The sconces, everything works so well together. I'm a big fan of it. And it's got such a clean feel in here. It's a it's it's a bright it's a bright coach and I really like that but not not glaringly because you've got some of these browns in here. Okay, what do we got here? Take a look. Another shirt closet with a check me mirror right here. Also two drawers, hanger bar there. Storage on each side of the Samsung 4K Smart. You got storage below there. You got storage in here. And later today, when the owners come in here, we're, I believe we're gonna place the um, vacuum on the inside here. It's a great place to have it. Don't forget, all of these shelves are uh, interchangeable and removable, and we can uh, basically accommodate anything they need to do. Take a look at that frog. A good part 
of the decor. Um, the owner really likes frogs, and so that was placed in here by Santara. And I remember when Santara found that frog, the Zen frog, if you will, uh, ZF for short. ZF was found by Santara, and she was so excited about it. Uh, additional storage underneath the bed right there, just a little, little spot. Now we're gonna get into the super bath, and that's why the triple slide really plays tough on this floor plan because there is nothing better in the RV industry for a Prevo than putting the super bath in the back of a marathon. Now we're gonna go through all the features here and I'm gonna show you why you would want a quad or a triple slide H3 to achieve the super bath. Double vanities, these are large deep sinks. Those are important. We don't want small bowls and I really like that. I love all of the features in here. Um, the faucets, the poles, everything pulls together very well. Lots of storage below and above. So storage, 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 storage down here. This beautiful backsplash that you see all the way from the back of the coach, all the way to the front risers in the stairwell. Amazing. This is one of the favorite features of the super bath and you can close that off and you can just hit bath privacy and it frosts or liquid crystals away. And then right back on with a push of a button. I really like that. And so when the door is closed or open, excuse me, when the door is open, you can see into the shower as you can see. But if I hit bath privacy, now you can see in here into the entire super bath, but you can't see into the shower because it's liquid crystal frosted over. Very cool. Now, take a look at that water feature in there. That is a backlit and also, I believe Jamie in our design team did a lot of manipulation of this photo to make sure it was exactly what the owner wanted. We're not just customizing the coach, but we're customizing the photos that are done in the water feature. Isn't that beautiful? And of course the shower has the wand and the rainfall. And this is a big shower, you guys. That's one thing that the, wa that the super bath does not give up. The wa it, look at this. There's a lot of room in here. Gosh, it's just beautiful. Okay, now continuing with the super bath. So we've already talked about this. Now you got a commode right here. Why is it covered? First of all, stylistically, it looks great because that blue cover really ties it in. There's two more things about it. First of all, when you're sitting here, you can, there's going to be an extra mirror that's installed later today per the customer's requirement of where it needs to be. But you're able to sit here and put on your makeup or whatever, you know, get dressed because, because, get dressed because on the other side of the super bath is a full closet and that is kind of the extra Easter egg that you find in the super bath on marathons, triples, and quads. You've got the four foot hanger bar. You've got, um, basically it could be storage. It could be anything like that. You could put clothes in there. You could put dirty clothes in there, hamper style. But anyway, and it's got little spots to, to put things up here, whether it be, um, you know, jewelry, watches, whatever, uh, cologne. So you've got an extra closet back here in the back of the super bath. I'd really, really dig this design and a big, a big up on Marathon's engineering team who, who designed this about, it's been about two years now. Now on the back side of the commode, the washer dryer. Now we have seen on a few occasions where the customer didn't want a washer dryer in their coach. This is a very cool closet if you don't want the washer dryer installed here. But is that not awesome to be able to have those that's why this floor plan doesn't lack anything because the washer dryer are not taking up another closet space. They are behind the commode. No one knows they're there because it just looks like a wall behind the toilet, right? You pull this hanger bar right here, washer dryer, full size ass goes out of Sweden. Very cool. The ceiling in this coach, I applaud the owners. They loved the ceiling in their previous coach they went with the same ceilings. A lot of great detail in Coach 1370 from the decor to the flooring to the fabrics to things like customizing uh, the art uh, 
the art door, customizing that rear shower with that feature. Of course, right behind John as he's walking back through, uh, there's a fireplace. That's another thing that the owner pointed out to me when, when they saw it. She said, you know, I, I really love having all the lights off and then just having the fireplace. And it puts out the best heat, you guys. The best heat, I love, I love our fireplace. Okay, we're gonna go with shades up in the cockpit to be able to show it. And I'm going to go, uh, where am I? I'm going cockpit, I'm going room, and I'm going up. So there they go up. Hope, hopefully John's camera is able to handle it uh, because we've got that front window, or uh, that front door uh, open. It's gonna bring in a lot of, lot of window. But t this is going to, I wanted that natural light, John, on these seats. Aren't those beautiful seats? The contrasting stitch, that Bentley style, quilted pattern the marathon logos in that copper color thread it really just stands out they're beautiful and also these are a comfortable seat to sit in and i think it's because of the quilted pattern that is in the seat here i am in the cockpit of 1370 and like i like i mentioned before this is an this cockpit is an example of an owner that knows what he likes knows what works and what doesn't work He's got a CB radio, but he's got a handheld, and I'm a big fan of that. Later today, we're going to install this. We don't install this until delivery because some people like it down here. I don't. I wouldn't want it down here because my knee or, or something would hit it. I would prefer it up here on the dash. One of the things that helps you hear the CB radio is this right here. We saw that in Bernie V's coach also, is uh, and a couple of other marathons. Uh, you've got right there a uh, speaker for the CB radio. And that's a real custom uh, look to it also. I'm really happy with how uh, our team put that together because it's got a really good look. So in the cockpit of 1370, you don't want to just consider the driver. You want to consider the actual co-pilot who does a lot of helping also. Take a look at this. Comes out on an arm. This is a integrated GPS so it's the same thing that the driver gets to see on on the pop-up over there for the driver the co-pilot also has the same thing or they correspond to each other so the co-pilot can help navigate from over here and that's something that the owner was really adamant and it's really a cool feature uh, that's an example like I have mentioned previously of the owners knowing what works and what doesn't work and that's what 1370 is all about. That is the end of our tour, and we're gonna let them come in here and take delivery. And so a big congratulations to them on their new coach, and uh, it's gonna be exciting. So look for this coach on the road. Don't forget to be yourself and do good things. I'm gonna get out of here. You know my email, it's malw, M-A-L-W, at marathoncoach.com. If you can't get me, I'm trying to avoid you. So take care, have a good one, I'm out.